Uh, let's go to Senator Daines. Thank you, Chair Murkowski, Ranking Member Cantwell, for prioritizing today's hearing on three exceptional nominees, all very important to both our public lands and our nation's energy security. As the chair of this committee's subcommittee on national parks, I'm going to start with Mr. Vela. Uh, you've all heard from others on this committee that our national parks make us uniquely American. Europe has their castles and their good food. America, we have our national parks, we have our public lands. That's why I believe it's imperative we take care of them and the workforce that support them. Mr. Vela, you spent some time at department headquarters on the workforce department with direct oversight over employee matters. You've also worked your way up through the Park Service over 29 distinguished years. Recent findings of sexual misconduct in the workplace and other issues with the workplace environment in our national parks are completely unacceptable. While we all love to play in our national parks, we must also make them a great place to work. Workforce environment starts at the top. And I know Secretary Zinke has taken this issue head on at the department and his policies have been updated. We all want a zero tolerance policy and Park Service employees need to feel safe and enjoy waking up and going to work every day. The question is, what have you learned through your time at the department on ways to improve the employee work environment? And how will you be carrying forward some of these policy changes moving forward? I understand you addressed this earlier. You talked about it needs to start with accountability. Uh, culture change starts at the top. I completely agree, As somebody who's managed business organization for 28 years and now in public service, it really starts at the top. The tone and tenor at the top matters, and that's where it starts. Well said, Senator, and thank you for that. I, I, um, what I've learned, and, and even in serving as Associate Director of, of, of the Workforce, was that uh, we need to do a better job of learning what was taking place out in the field because at that time we didn't have accurate uh, or sufficient reporting processes and protocols so that the leadership in Washington had a sense for what was happening at a park. We do now. Uh, better reporting, better transparency. Uh, but I'm not certain that we're quite there yet on the accountability. And so what I've learned, Senator, is we've come a long way in a short period of time, and I give the, the agency credit. But every leader in the organization has to own this. You know, and I want to focus more on, on the performance evaluation process uh, because at, during the mid-year and at the end of a given year, we have a chance to reflect on what you did as a leader. And if you didn't own the culture and if you didn't mitigate appropriately and change the dynamics, you will pay a price. And I have experience in dealing with that. So uh, I think that on the accountability uh, piece that there's more that we can do. Uh, we know how to go about doing that, and if confirmed, I look forward to achieving that. 